Today's a sad day on YouTube because we're saying goodbye to one of the GOATs. You've definitely heard the news by now, but MatPat has announced his retirement from the game theorists, and here's him in his own words. We knew that we couldn't do this forever. We knew that, honestly, we didn't want to do this forever. For and he talks about how the work-life balance has been less than ideal, and he's devoted the past 13 years of his life to game theory, and he wants to start doing new things. And he's going to still keep having game theory running with new hosts. And it's <laughs> kind of cool because there will be four people replacing what he used to do by himself, which just shows how much of an institution he was. Now, quick aside, this is just a little conspiracy theory. This was his 666th YouTube upload. I feel like Matt Pat wouldn't be someone to not know that. I don't know, maybe, okay, but I, but I do think it's real. And this isn't just him retiring. There's been a trend of YouTubers retiring over the past year, really. And even in the past couple of months, there's been some huge names. People like Stampy in his lovely World Minecraft series, it's came to a close. And who knows what's gonna happen next in our lives. So, for the final time, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you later. And it's not just Stampy. We obviously saw Tom Scott last week saying he's ending main channel uploads. This project has worked and it's time to move on. Even Jerma. Jerma has announced his retirement. I don't know if people know, but it's a soft retirement. He still streams sometimes, but, but here he is. Uh, this being a streamer is going to turn into a hobby for me. While I work on other stuff, other things in my life, obviously like off brand, you saw the Doug Doug thing that's uh, doing a lot of that right now. And we have to ask ourselves, why? why? Why are all these people retiring from YouTube? One of the dream jobs that many people want to have. And I think the answer is twofold. And I think the first part is they're not actually retiring. Like in the traditional sense, they're not retiring and going to play golf like a 75 year old every weekend and, 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 and not do anything creatively. They're all still outputting they're just now outputting the thing that people know them for the most. Like Tom, for example. This probably isn't goodbye, goodbye, like not forever. The podcaster house, Lateral, is still going out weekly. My newsletter's still going out. The Plus channel will probably return at some point. There'll likely be new technical difficulties episodes. That's a lot of work. He's still doing a lot of things. Stampy, he has a gaming channel that he's still uploading on. It's a gaming channel, uh, but it's geared for kind of um, an older audience, I guess, than... Um then stampy like we still don't swear or anything on it like don't get like that idea like everything that i said earlier isn't thrown out still no swearing and and also even mad pat is still making stuff like, for instance i have a lo-fi mystery series that i think you're really gonna dig it's basically like if you took a lo-fi channel and applied an arg narrative to it it becomes lore fi but i think the reality is that when you start becoming a youtuber you have the dream of wanting to become a youtuber you just throw shit at the wall Whatever it is, whatever whatever creatively you are good at or you think is funny or fun or, 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 or helpful to the world, you just keep doing it. And eventually, if it works out, something sticks. I, I don't know what it is for, for every YouTuber, but, you know, MatPat had game theory. Uh, I, for a while, had had uh, playing games at a subpar level. And, and we kept doing those things, MatPat to a much greater degree. But you get the idea. When something sticks, you do it. You repeat it. And you do it on a regular cadence so that people know to come to expect it and will show up to watch it. You build a base of viewers, yada, yada, yada. And there, you still got to innovate. You got to change throughout the times. You know, if viewers will get old. Stop watching YouTube. You need to appeal to new viewers. But, but that's the idea. You just keep running the same old simulation over and over. And I think at a certain point, YouTubers realize it's a bit draining. Because what is it all for, right? More views, Ludwig. More money more fame. But what is that for? What's the point of getting more capital? What are you doing with the money? At a certain point, you're, you're pretty set, right? I think Matt Pat has been pretty set for a while now. I feel like I've been set for a while now. I don't feel like I'm in the game of getting more money because I don't have a reason for it. I don't know what I would do with it. And then the fame part, that'll go away. And everybody knows it'll go away. And I think Matt Pat says it best himself right here. When you think about it, there's only really two ways to step away from a YouTube channel. You either just decide the day that you stop uploading and you're like, I'm done. Or you just keep uploading videos from now until the heat death of the universe. And you watch as your relevance slowly dies or your passion slowly dies. And for me and my journey in this place, I always wanted to go out on a high note. And when you stop and... And I agree with him. I think YouTubers nowadays saw the previous generation of YouTubers do the other way of quitting. 
where it is somewhat forced upon them because they kept doing the thing that made them successful and then it started to fall off a bit. I'm sure you can think of some YouTubers who did this, a channel that maybe you used to watch and then you looked up years later to see, oh, they're still doing the thing. It's just that people aren't watching them do the thing. And maybe in there is a couple of updates saying, hey, that they're burnt out or that YouTube isn't as fulfilling anymore. And that's not the nicest way to end a career. It, it's, it's kind of a sad way. It's not the best page to turn to in goosebumps. And then you end up on the obituary page of Sunny V2. That's not, nobody wants this. I'm just saying nobody wants this. And maybe it is a bit selfish to want to be remembered for, for your work when you are at your peak uh, in, in creatively pushing the limits as opposed to creating into maybe your decline. But I also think it makes sense. And quitting is one of the coolest things you can do. I mean, like truly quitting, deciding to quit on your own terms. Frank Sinatra, my way, tight beat is awesome after you've achieved success, because it's also hard. When is the right time to quit? I find it incredibly scary just thinking of the idea of it. And when I first started streaming, when I had no viewers, I said I would quit within five years. At that point, I didn't realize what would happen in five years, but I figured I'd wanna move on to some other shit. And I still do wanna move on to some other shit. I really wanna open a bakery. <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanna do, that's what I wanna do. I think it'd be really fun. I think it'd be fulfilling. I think it'd help my local community. And that to me is much more fulfilling than the endless pursuit of more money and more fame. For what? I'd rather have people around me have good bread. <laughs> I think that's cooler. I think it's more important. But anyway, here's Matt Pat talking about quitting and the fear of it. Because change is scary. Change is hard. But sometimes the right decision isn't the easy decision. The easy decision would just be to carry on doing this and do FNAF part 332, but that wouldn't be the right decision. I think the best way to explain it is... He has a big video game analogy here. It's definitely worth watching because Matt Pat is a well-spoken man, but I think the reality is that he's right. You just do keep doing the thing that works, and there's not really an exact point where you are supposed to quit, right? You know, there's, there's just a line that you arbitrarily draw in the sand. It happens even with famous movie directors. Quentin Tarantino, 10 movies. Why 10? Could be 11, could be 13, but he's he's marked himself at 10. And and that's just his line. And so this is Matt Pat's line, and eventually we will hit everybody's line. My line is going to uh, come at some point. I'm still here for a couple of years because, you know, hey, I, I still like what I do, and uh, and it's going well, and I want off-brand to succeed. So, hey, I'm not announcing anything, but but I will. I will one day. And it's not going to be in the too far distant future. And you might not even be watching me by then. This might be the last time we ever see each other. So I hope you have a good life. And I'm going to leave you with a quote from a fellow Ludwig, Ludwig Jacobowski, who had a, uh, a quote uh, that's usually misattributed to Dr. Seuss that says very simply, don't cry because it's over. Smile because you have been. It was translated from German. It doesn't sound as nice, uh, but but you get the idea. Thank you all for watching, and, and shout out to Matt Pat's uh, uh, amazing career, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're going to keep doing the same thing forever now, forever, for more views, forever, and I'll always be here forever for more views. Yes, forever. Subscribe. Yes, forever.